Thanks for tuning in to Dirty Teeth and welcome back to the channel. I've got a quick favor to ask of you. If you haven't already, please subscribe to the channel. The statistics show that 65% of you are not subscribed and if you did, it would help me a bunch and that's my spiel for now. Whether you're in the market to upgrade your gravel or road bike with a fabulous new wheel set, or you're like me and you just like to nerd out on the coolest, newest gear, I think you'll enjoy this video. If you're not familiar with Industry 9, they're a high-end hub wheel set and component manufacturer based out of Asheville, North Carolina. And they just released their all new line of Solix hubs and wheel sets today. I've personally been drooling over these for the last few weeks. So now that I'm officially allowed to share the news, I'm gonna spill all the beans with you in this video. Tech specs, pricing, compatibility, all that jazz. You'll have all the info to decide whether you want or need these in your life. Spoiler alert, I think you do. What is Solix and what does it mean? I have no idea, but it sounds cool and it's pretty catchy. Although in terms of i9 hub branding, I still think Torch is the best. It makes me think of lighting the torch at the Olympics. Although I do enjoy Hydra hubs, it reminds me of the bad guys in the Avengers movies. Anyway, the Solix line is designed specifically for drop bar gravel and road bikes. So if you were thinking about using these on your mountain bike, think again, at least for now. They're only available in 12 by 100 and 12 by 142 hub spacing. No 15 millimeter diameter fronts and certainly no boost spacing for the rear. That's still Hydra's domain. With that said, the Solix line is being broken up into two wheel set families and a standalone hub set. First is the Solix SL family of wheels. These are the super light, super fast options. These are aimed at road applications and you super speedy gravel racers. If absolute speed on tarmac and or Gucci gravel is what you're after, these are the wheels for you. Next up is the Solix G or gravel family of wheels. They're barely heavier than the SLs, but they're more focused on comfort and compliance, which makes them the choice for rugged terrain and backcountry gravel adventures. All of the Solix wheel sets obviously feature Solix hubs, but with slight differences. The SL hubs fit traditional stainless steel straight pull spokes, like those from DT Swiss, Supreme, or Wheelsmith. The G-Series hubs only accept i9's proprietary direct threaded spokes. In both cases, the only way to attain these hubs is to purchase complete SL or G-Series wheel sets. If you're looking to buy a set of Solix hubs for your own custom wheel build, i9 still has you covered. They also have a classic hub set available to mate with standard J-Bend spokes. And to be clear, all versions of the Solix hubs feature the exact same Solix internals. And the driver technology is brand new and has been designed from the ground up. It's not just a revamp of the popular Hydra hubs, but like the Hydra hubs and many other i9 products, the Solix hubs are made from scratch in-house. Design, engineering, manufacturing, anodizing, assembly, everything. Some notes about the classic hubs if you're interested. Again, they're designed to mate with J-Bend spokes and they're available in either 24 hole or 28 hole options. They feature a new scalloped texture on the hub flange instead of a traditional round design. This is said to distribute stress more effectively. The weight for the front is 110 grams and the rear is 223 grams. That's down into DT Swiss 240 territory. If you're curious, a set of similar i9 Hydra hubs would be about 137 grams for the front and 265 for the rear. So we're looking at around 70 grams of weight savings for a Solix set versus Hydra's. That's nothing to sneeze at. Oh yeah, price. A set of Solix classic hubs is gonna set you back 695 bucks. I'm not sure if they plan on making them available individually or not, and if so, what those prices will be. So you might wanna check the i9 website for updates. So those are the classic hubs. And the following specs and driver tech apply to all the Solix hubs, including those that come on the SL and G-Series wheels. As I already stated, they're only available in 12x100 front and 12x142 rear hub spacing. And there's only a center lock version, so there's no six bolt rotor option. There are four free hub driver options to keep everybody happy. XDR for SRAM, MSR for Shimano Micro Spline, and 3W for Campagnolo, and HG for standard splined cassettes. The hubs themselves will be available in 11 anodized colors, so you can get all matchy-matchy. But Alan, what about performance? That's what really matters. Back to comparing them with Hydra hubs, there's a couple interesting changes. First off, instead of the six paw system, they ditched one and the Solix only uses five. But you'll notice that each paw on the Solix has an extra groove or tooth on it. 
This allows the pawls to stay continuously phased around the drive ring, which has 121 teeth on it. This equates to 605 points of engagement. Or stated in another way, engagement every 0.59 degrees. Technically, this is actually slightly less than the Hydra hubs, which have 690 point engagement, or every 0.52 degrees. But I highly doubt any one of us could ever tell the difference between 0.07 of a degree. For reference, I'm still rocking a pair of torch hubs that I've had for over 15,000 miles and I still absolutely love. They only have 120 points or three degrees of engagement. I'd still be hard pressed to tell the difference between those and Hydra's. Maybe it would be fun to do a blind test with myself and a few friends and it could be a cool video idea. Let me know in the comments. For more reference, Chris King hubs have a mere 72 points of engagement and they're the creme de la creme. I had them on my single speed forever and could never tell the difference between them and the torches. And then there's Onyx with the pretty much instantaneous sprag clutch and the soft feel. Anyway, I feel like I'm starting down a bunny trail. The moral of the engagement story, Solix will definitely not be lacking in that department. What I find more interesting is that i9 reduced the spring tension on the paws of the Solix. And they changed up the contact seal system. Both should help to reduce friction and resistance. And supposedly the new seal design will do a better job at keeping grit and grime out. They're also saying the freewheeling buzz will be quieter. I wish I had a wheel so I could do a sound test for you. I'm really curious. Maybe I'm just getting older and grumpier, but lately I really find myself enjoying the quiet. Another update for the Solix is the use of higher load bearings. These are also sized the same on the drive and non-drive side to distribute the load placed on the hub shell more evenly. i9 also tweaked the bearing preload system to extend bearing life while keeping serviceability nice and easy just like the older hubs. If you haven't serviced i9 hubs, they're a breeze to keep in tip top shape, so this is nice to hear. In a nutshell, the Solix hubs should offer almost instant engagement, super low drag, and enhanced durability. I probably could have just said that in the first place. Anywho, on to the wheels. As I mentioned at the beginning, Solix wheels are offered in the SL line and the G line. I'll highlight the SL series first, which is the road, all road, fast gravel racing line. It's offered in a whopping nine rim configurations, including seven carbon and two alloy options. There's a lot of info and specs to run through here, so I'll just summarize the key features for now. Instead of confusing and boring you to death, I'll put a chart in the description. This will include the specs for both the SL and the G series wheel sets and recommended uses. This way you can peruse at your leisure. Rest assured, whether you prioritize climbing, all out aero speed, mixed terrain, fast group rides, whatever it may be, they've probably got you covered. The SL line comes spec'd with Supreme CX Ray bladed aero spokes to minimize drag. And in addition to the 11 colors available for the hubs, there's nine colors available for the spoke nipples so you can further personalize the SL wheels to your taste. i9 also makes valve stems in a bunch of colors so everything can match perfectly. Pricing starts at $12.95 for the alloy wheel sets and $22.95 for the carbon ones. The rims range from 21 to 25 millimeters of internal width. And they come in rim depths from 25 millimeters all the way up to 65 millimeter for the most aero option. Weights for the SL wheel sets range from 1,270 grams at the lightest up to 1,530 for the heaviest. The lightest overall drop bar wheel set features the UL250 carbon rims, while the heaviest is the deepest most aero wheel set, the SL65. Again, there's nine combo platters of wheel sets in the SL line, so check the chart in the description for all the details. Now to the Solix G wheels, which again are tailored to rugged terrain, getting off the beaten path and away from pavement. These are going to be the closest thing to mountain bike wheels for your gravel bike. They're offered in four rim options, one carbon, and three alloy. Contrary to my intuition, the prices for the G series are slightly higher than the SL lineup. The alloy wheel sets start at $1405 and the lone carbon wheel set starts at $2395. The only factor I can think of to warrant the added expense is the use of i9's proprietary aluminum spokes. These spokes thread directly into the hub so there's no nipples and there's integrated wrench flats for truing. Similar to the hubs, their spokes are offered in 11 anodized colors which helped put i9 on the map many years ago. You can go on their website and use their custom wheel designer to create something low key and understated, or you can go for full on crazy rainbow color spoke combos. As far as the G series wheels go, the lightest set comes in at 1320 grams. 
This uses the same UL250 carbon rim as the SL version of the same wheel. The only real difference from the SL version is the spokes, which add approximately 50 grams to each wheel set. But if you're all in on the i9 super bling factor, this is the way to go. Then there's the UL250A, which is simply an alloy version of the carbon wheels I just mentioned. At 1420 grams, it's only 100 grams heavier than the carbon set, yet much easier on the wallet. We're talking almost a thousand bucks cheaper, so I expect these to be pretty popular. The last two options are the GRCX and the AR25. Both are alloy and both weigh in at 1520 grams for the sets. I'm assuming GRCX stands for something like gravel slash cross. These feature a burlier rim ready for chunky Jeep roads. And they might be suited better for heavier riders and or bikepacking rigs. The AR25 is a crossover rim, which is also available on the SL line. It has a 21.5 millimeter internal width versus the 24.5 of the GRCX and the 25 millimeter of the UL250 alloy and carbon. It's basically a do-all road wheel offered with the i9 spokes and therefore the added blingability. Again, all the specs for all the wheels are laid out in the description below in case any of this was confusing. So there you have it, your first look at the new Solix line of wheel sets and hubs from Industry 9. If I had to choose and money was no object, the G Series UL250 Carbon has dirty teeth written all over it. And I'd also go with the UL250 Alloy for similar performance on a budget. What about you? What Solix wheels or features stand out to you the most? Let me know along with any follow-up questions in the comment section below. If you gleaned any useful knowledge from this video, please show your love by giving us a like and sharing it with your friends. If you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. And until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward. Thanks so much for squeezing dirty teeth into your busy schedule. Please help us reach more people and ensure you receive new videos by giving this video a like, subscribing to the channel, and clicking the notification bell. Until next time, ride bikes, give back, pay it forward.